All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and keep moving on. So we did our trees, we did the buildings, now we're on the sidewalk. So for the sidewalk, all you have to do is figure out the width of, that you want your sidewalk to be, which I would say about the si width of, um, the width of a door is pretty average. So I would do maybe something like right about here. So about probably a whole finger away. And then go ahead and use that. And again, use that and create that converging line. So, um, sorry, I had to switch pencils here. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pencil right on that dot, angle my ruler to where the width that I want it to be down here, and go ahead and draw that line. So there you go, I have my um, sidewalk. Now all you have to do for this part actually is create those, the repeating lines. So what I strongly suggest with that is that what I'm gonna show you is wh what happens. So I'm going to match up the bottom edge of my ruler to the bottom edge of my paper. And I'm gonna draw a line here. I'm gonna do the same thing here and then keep repeating that step. And you're gonna see that right here, this sidewalk does not match the size of this door. And that is because again, remember, as we move towards the vanishing point, things need to be smaller. So it should be really small, not big. So again, they're going, and then another way to kind of think of it is you start small and work your way big and keep going that way. And do one more here. So there, now we have our sidewalk. Um, I'm gonna clean up my little edges here and there, especially right here. So the next thing now is that was our sidewalk. Now let's go ahead and start with the shading. So the shading part is, as we get close to the vanishing point, it's gonna be dark. Okay, it's gonna be dark and then it's gonna fade out. So what I like to do, I'm gonna show you right here. What I like to do is I like to emphasize the crack and the corner, and then I kind of drag my pencil out. And then again, do that corner again, and that corner, and fade out. But as you work from here, it's gonna look dark because those squares are smaller. And do the same thing. All I'm doing again is just dragging out that there. So now I kind of have this, um, this edge here. Again, emphasize those cracks and this corner here because I definitely, I want some contrast here, but not too much. Most of my contrast will probably happen against the building, so you can do it that size too. So you can do that corner against the building and kind of do it that way. Um, same thing here, but as I get down here, you'll see it's not, I'm not pressing as hard. Again, I'm just kind of giving it that little bit of space there. Okay, so again, it goes from really dark to really light. Now, as I'm finishing up my shading here, what I strongly suggest, let's work on this spot here. This guy, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go straight up and down. It's gonna go from dark to light. Dark to light. And you might wanna do that a few times. It depends on how you wanna, you know. But again, I'm just going from dark to light. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go from this dark and fade it out light. Okay, and do the same thing here. Now we're gonna work from here to here. This is gonna be dark and it's gonna fade out light. This is gonna be kind of dark and it's gonna fade out light. And all I'm doing again is I'm doing just nice little strokes here. 
and fade out light. Now remember, because as we get closer to the edge, it should be light. What I strongly suggest, go ahead and finish up the rest of your drawing. Um, if you would like to, there is a video for challenge. So if you want to try to do um, the center line of a road or the, um, the curb here, um, you are more than welcome to watch that video, um, as well as how to create that sun using just pencil. Um, so you are more than welcome to try those videos. That's totally fine. And again, we're just going from dark in here, and I'm going to kind of fade out. So again, we're just, I'm just going to do a nice overlay on top and just fade it out. And again, just kind of adding that contrast, going really dark, and I'm going to fade it out. So really dark against the horizon here, and just kind of fade it out. And when that happens, just really darken up those little details that we should see, but they're kind of hard to see because they're far away. And again, I'm going parallel to the paper this way, so I'm going back and forth. And that is it. That's all you need to do from this on out. You're more than welcome, to, like I said, to email me if you have any questions at mowens at wellspringprep.com or um, go ahead and um, shoot me a, a Google Hangout. That's totally fine, too. My office hours are from noon to 4, Monday through Friday. And um, feel free, again, if you need me to email me, um, contact me in any, um, any of those ways. Or um, if you are all set, please go ahead and just share what you've gotten so far. Some of you guys have been doing really well with um, with those um, with the perspective so far, and I'm very proud of you for that. So keep going, keep doing what you want to do. Um, add those details if you want. If not, this is basically what you need to do for now for this week. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day, guys. Bye.